different alternative ways of uh, allocation of money and what is the best alternative using certain techniques known as capital budgeting techniques and there are two types of techniques available one is uh, traditional methods and second one is known as a DCF discounted cash flow methods in case of tra traditional methods they are known as payback and accounting rate of return they do not consider time value of money and the other techniques are known as a discounted cash flow techniques they recognize time value of money here we have three important methods one is uh, net present value NPV and second one is IRR internal rate of return and third one is profitability index so this is the core content of uh, managerial economics demand analysis theory of production theory of cost and then markets profit and investment analysis what is the main function of a managerial economist? Whenever there is a need for taking a decision, start, be it uh, deciding the product to be produced, the rate or the price to be fixed, or deciding the quantity of advertisement budget, or mode of advertisement, or research and development, whatever may be the decision, he has to formulate, uh, he has to clearly define the problem, he has to clearly formulate the alternatives. What are the alternatives available? And then he has to collect data, he has to analyze the data, and he has to arrive at a reasonable solution. So, formulation of alternatives, evaluation of alternatives, and finally, suggesting a one correct solution to the problem. That is the main function of a managerial economist. So, he always uh, chooses the best alternative from among the alternatives. And then, what are the specific functions of a managerial economist? Uh, Alexander and Kemp, they have given 10 important functions of a managerial economist from a survey of British industry. Let us see the list of uh, functions performed by a managerial economist. This is self-evident. One is uh, production scheduling, planning of productions, sales forecasting, market research, economic analysis of company, competing firms, Pricing problems of industry, investment appraisal, that is capital budgeting, just now we have seen, and security analysis, advice on foreign exchange management, advice on trade, and environmental protection, forecasting. So these are some of the functions to be performed by a managerial economist. The last point is what role a managerial economist plays in the management team? This is very, very important. Being the students of management, you are aware that uh, there are two types of functions, line function and staff function. Line managers are supposed to take decisions and uh, the job of a st staff manager is to provide the required information to a line manager and line manager has to take the decision. Now, what is the role of this uh, particular managerial economist, whether it is a line function or a staff function? So, depending on the position of the managerial economist in the company, his function varies. For example, he is made in charge of uh, uh, he is made in charge of uh, a division. Then he acts as a line manager. Suppose he is subordinate to a vice president of marketing. Then he, his job is staff function. He has to collect information and he has to advise on a specific aspect. So, William J. Baumol has beautifully summarized the role of a managerial economist in the management team by these words. Baumol concludes that a managerial economist can become a far more helpful member of a management team by virtue of his studies of economic analysis primarily because there he learns to become an effective model builder and because there he acquires a very rich body of tools and techniques which can help him in to deal with the problems of the home in far more rigorous, far more probing and far more deeper manner. So this is about the role of a managerial economist in the management team. Thank you.